and welcome back to Metropole Sports Center. In case you are joining us on the first part of the show, we were talking about the whole uh, the whole developments that have been happening in the football sphere in the country. Uh, the backdrop of that was the multiple uh, sponsorships that the FKF, that is the governing body, has received. That is 1.2 uh, billion shillings for the league, and then 1.1 uh, billion shillings for uh, sponsorship with the start times. Just before we went uh, for a break, we were talking about the young players that were called out uh, for the game today, that is Harambe Stars versus says Chipolo Polo of Zambia and uh, one, one, one person that kept on popping up in the whole of that conversation was Clark Odwar who plays for Bansley in England. Just before he was uh, selected to play for Bansley, he initially used to play for Leeds United which has now been promoted into the English Premier League and is giving teams a run for their money. If you're following, if you're a fan of the English Premier League then you can definitely see how much or how Leeds United has performed uh, against uh, Liverpool and Manchester City. Now, uh, Makali, just before we went for the break, we were talking about uh, Clark Odwar. Uh, when you're talking about the likes of Clark Odwar, the main question that is there, what is the future of Harambe Stars? Uh, I mean, when you look at uh, these kind of players and uh, Kenyan players coming out from uh, Kenya playing in the English Premier League, mm -hmm. first of all, uh, when you look at the English Premier League, it's the most competitive league. Uh, when you talk uh, about the, the, the EPA, the Championship, the League One, the League Two, uh, it's it's very competitive. Uh, last uh, last year, I think in July mm -hmm. uh, 22nd, uh, Odwell scored a very important goal for Barnsley that mm -hmm. uh, actually kept them in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Championship. They mm -hmm. are all almost being relegated and it, uh, it had him be on the on the limelight Sheffield came calling for him but um, um, Brentford have managed to stick with the player so for me I think um, with the kind of sponsorship that coming in uh, the team and uh, uh, having to broadcast the games uh, will make it to have more players playing mm -hmm. in the in the U European League so to me, uh, I look at it in, in this perspective, like we need to have an academy, uh, a national team academy, mm -hmm. um, have each and every team in the, in, the, in the Kenyan Premier League have academies like we, we have under 15, mm -hmm. under 20. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, having players from grassroots, uh, we nurture them, mm -hmm. we'll have a, a better tomorrow for the national team. And not only for the national team, uh, also the, 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 the women, the Harambe starlets. Mm -hmm. uh, if we do that, we'll have a, a better tomorrow for Harambe stars and also uh, we need to look uh, at it in, in in this perspective that we need to have managers our own local managers we have to train them because mm -hmm. every time we come up with uh, this thing of uh, you know importing uh, coaches mm -hmm. from different countries it mm -hmm. has been very tough to keep up with them because mm -hmm. you know the finances the, the kind of finances they, they need mm -hmm. uh, it's a bit tough for the, for the federation and the ministry of sports to have them around okay. yeah. interesting you've mentioned the issue of coaches because that is where I was actually heading uh, two yeah. next uh, at the center of every team uh, is the coach the coach communicates his vision to the players in terms of where he wants them to go do you think we'll ever get to a point where we'll find a lasting solution because we've uh, we've had uh, coaches previously who've done very well we had the likes of uh, Fabish who at the time mm -hmm. uh, did his best to at least push Arambe stars to the international limelight that uh, as it was supposed to be. Do you think there is like a magic bullet to the whole issue of uh, sports management, to the whole issue of management of Arambe stars? I mean, it's not even about uh, the, the coach because it all starts with the the, uh, the federation, mm -hmm. the management from, from the top. We look at the FKF president, the CES for sports, uh, because we've been having this uh, push and pull, you know, to pay coaches uh, to come and, and train our, our players. Mm -hmm. But if we come up with, uh, you know, a local... We, uh, in the past, we've had a, a training session for coaches, and mm -hmm. I think Kimanzi also attended it, and uh, um, the levels at which he is now, mm -hmm. he's able to raise a very good team. So for me, if we can focus with uh, Kimanzi as per now, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he'll be able to come up uh, with a, a very strong team because he, under he understands the league, he's Kenyan. You know, if you come up with a coach from um, a different country, mm -hmm. uh, maybe you, you get a coach from France, he'll mm -hmm. come with his technical bench. Yeah. But uh, Kimanzi, he's been a coach uh, at Madare. He mm -hmm. understands the kind of players uh, uh, that he needs 
for mm. the national team and he keeps an eye uh, on, on the league on the uh, Kenya Premier League I think as per now it's the FKF league FKF so league, he, yeah, yeah he understands the uh, what he needs uh, at the national team mm -hmm. so for me uh, we need to give him time mm -hmm. the problem is uh, apparently we're going to have elections fkf you don't yeah. know if nick will be there or we'll have someone else mm -hmm. and if someone else comes in he'll want uh, to have his uh, uh, different uh, mm -hmm. uh, members to work with and mm -hmm. he might decide maybe we can terminate commands yeah. uh, um, contract if he's not performing mm -hmm. i mean with local coaches we need to give them we need to give them time you know you can't just uh, bring in a coach and and, uh, and immediately you want results you mm -hmm. want to win you need to take the you know it's 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 a process you mm -hmm. need to work uh, that they need to work on and make sure that uh, harambe stars um, yeah, they move uh, in terms of their levels uh, rankings on on fifa mm -hmm. and if we improve the rankings also of fifa we'll have so many players uh, playing out, uh, outside the country because you remember there's a time Mariga was supposed to join Manchester City and we had even the Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister yeah. going to UK to try and fix things for him to play but you know there are rules that are, are set and, mm. and they normally work with that so if we keep on changing coaches you know you keep mm -hmm. on dragging the next time we are position 168 fifa ranked and mm -hmm. the next time we go to shoot to 80 we go mm -hmm. you know it like becomes we are not we are not consistent we are not, we are not consistent the, the rankings, yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah true so for me let's focus we, we, with one coach that's what uh, i think will help the national team okay yeah. uh, a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago i was talking to um a former football player yeah. and uh, he was he was a to the fact that he's he doesn't play right now he's one of those cases of maybe i was talented but i feel like i was not given enough a chance to play i won't mention the name but uh one of the key things that uh, this particular player mentioned to me which was a bit frustrating was the fact that uh, they are talented players, but when a new coach comes in, the coach also comes in with his people. Because you mentioned the issue of when the coach comes, they come with the technical nini, but yeah. also there's also the other side with the players. Like when a certain player, when a certain coach comes, he's like, I know this person, yeah. you know, he's going to come that. Um, how detri detrimental do you think that is to the league in the country? I mean, that's why Nation I said, uh, like, we need to have uh, a different uh, a criteria on which, before you make it even to the national team, we have the under 20, we have the under 15 mm -hmm. uh, for the for the national team. So if we have these players grow across, mm -hmm. it will be easy for us to uh, be able to identify the, the, the talents. And we also, normally we have the, the SJAC uh, Journalism uh, Awards. Awards. Yeah. So with that, uh, we are able to uh, vote for the best players. And uh, if you remember the, the likes of uh, Blackberry. They were mm, the best players yeah, in Kenya yeah. playing for Gormahia, yeah. but it got to a point whereby we can't see them uh, featuring for the national team. So yeah. uh, for me, uh, it's not even all about the, the coach coming up with the, the kind of players that he wants mm. because if we have that criteria that we have the, under the national team, the under 20 national team, under 21, mm -hmm. uh, we are able to focus on them and then we, we know like uh, so and so is doing very great. Mm -hmm. Maybe we try him in the, in the national team. Uh, We've had the in in Europe. You look at the uh, a nation like uh, let me. Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave a chance to Fati and so Fati and he showcased uh, his talent, he's mm -hmm. made it uh, uh, to the first team. So if we have that criteria of bringing up players, mm -hmm. we are able to take a look and say so and so is doing very well, mm -hmm. let's give uh, him a, a chance uh, at the helm of the national team. And that's why I said uh, at the national team we only need at least five players, mm -hmm. five experienced experience players. players, experience players. Sort of like yeah. boost the others. Eh? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and show them the way. Have mm -hmm. a goal keeper uh, a defender two midfielders and maybe a striker up front and encourage the young players mm -hmm. you look at these um, old players the, the the likes of uh, mariga they're coming up with their own academies yeah. why is it uh, that uh, mariga can come up with the, uh, his own academy but the national team the federation they can't mm -hmm. plan yeah, and sure. have and build these players from grassroots mm -hmm. yeah. victor Anyam also has an has, a, has an academy yeah too, olunga so also Olunga has, has uh, most yeah. most of, uh, of these uh, uh, big players mm -hmm. they're, they're so take home, irrespective of what happens, at the end of the day, the buck is still going to be falling with the the federation or the relevant stakeholders to ensure that they set up yeah. the structure. But but I would like also to plead with the national government and mm -hmm. the Ministry of Sports to make mm -hmm. sure that uh, uh, the Kenyan League is back to action because if you're not going to have these players back, 
mm-hmm. to the field, then mm-hmm. it's it's going to be problematic. We're not even going to focus on the the, the, the ban that awaits us uh, from from CAF. Mm-hmm. We're just going to fail because remember we we drew uh, one uh, one one uh, to Egypt. Mm-hmm. Again, we drew at home uh, to Togo. So and next month it, it's, it's actually a must a must, a win, must game. win. Yeah, actually yeah. Nick Mundo was like, we it, only need like five points to probably yeah. proceed into the no, next. No, phase. and, and uh, allow me to say this nation as mm-hmm. we wind up because uh, if uh, we are not going to 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 win uh, the the Comoros game, mm-hmm. it will be probably better if. The, the league is not back to action, mm. then the local players are available. Let yeah. them be uh, at camp because they have been tested. Let them be at, at camp for the period of almost 25 days and mm-hmm. train for that match. Okay. Yeah. Uh, take home. I know it's too early to make this uh, prediction, but uh, the game that is coming, that is Kenya versus Comoros. Yeah. What do you? What are your uh, probable case scenarios that you've seen? Uh, from what I've seen from training, Harambe Stars training to the friendly match against uh, Chipolopolo, mm-hmm. I think it's going to be a draw for, okay. for Harambe Stars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank we, you. Without the fans, remember Harambe Stars has al- always been doing very well. Remember uh, we, when we played before we qualified for mm-hmm. Afcon uh, the last year, mm-hmm. uh, we had f- uh, fans at, at Kasarani mm-hmm. uh, and it was free. We won uh, with a very big margin, but uh, at the moment we're playing without the fans, and mm-hmm. uh, you know the home support is very important. So without okay. them, I'll go for a draw. A draw. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Makali. Looking forward to coming to your show so that uh, we <laughs> talk. We in, try. We tr- so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fumble in Kiswahili. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for finding time. I think the next time I'm going to have you on the show, we are going to either lamenting or uh, cursing your team, Chelsea. <laughs> and, uh, I've shelved that conversation for another day. Yeah. Quick one. Are you happy with the, the direction of your team, Chelsea? Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, though n- uh, not all the players are fit and back to, to represent Chelsea, mm-hmm. but at the moment uh, I'm happy with uh, what's happening. Kai Havertz played very well in the mm-hmm. uh, Chilwell. Uh, Chilwell. Chilwell is doing well. Uh, Chilwell well. is also doing very well. So I think uh, uh, Lampard needs uh, time to build on, on that team. Okay, yeah. that's a conversation for another day. <laughs> sure. Well, that's all the time that he had for you on Metropo Sports Center. Um, taking a short commercial break. After the break, I'll be coming back with the events watch where do you need to be this weekend which tv station are you supposed to be tuning in for premium entertainment see you after the break